Okay, so I'm in uh, North Houston today, and uh, this is like the craziest start to an inspection I've ever seen, so check this out. So, driving up to the house, I noticed that there's water coming from underneath the walls. Never a good sign. So this is an older home that has uh, galvanized water lines that need to be replaced over time. It's been beautifully renovated, but they left the galvanized water lines. And I come in, and I've already turned the water off, but when I came in, water was pouring from the ceiling. Um, as you can see, it's been that way for a while. It's caused a lot of damage. There's about two inches of water uh, on the entire left side of the home. Um, it's also been leaking a little bit uh, just above the water heater and uh, has flooded this kitchen. So on older homes that have been renovated, you want to check to make sure that they've replaced the water lines or that the galvanized water lines are not leaking. As you can see, it's been draining from the kitchen towards the front corner of this property, and that's how I saw the water uh, going to the outside. So. Yeah, uh, so I'm waiting for the buyer to show up and see what the next step is on this property, and I'll keep you updated. Thanks. So I showed up to my afternoon job today, and the seller's disclosure boasts a brand new roof on this property, and I uh, show up and it is not, uh, not done well. So let me show you what I found. So on our brand new roof, we have exposed fasteners, we have a flu storm collar that is uh, not properly sealed. This piece should be down at this joint. You can see the gap right there. That's gonna allow water in. Uh, we have a beautiful rubber boot that's gonna leak. We have uh, lead plumbing jacks that are not properly installed. I can stick my finger in there. Water's gonna get in there. Uh, we're walking along on the back side of this roof. And by the way, all the, uh, the lead plumbing jacks look like that. We got some, uh, some chimney mortar cap improvement needed. We got some lifting flashing. And lastly, they put shingles on a low slope roof. As you can see, it is holding water. Um, uh, I can't get down underneath there quite just yet some soap on the roof, but uh, there's a lot of water standing and water damage and wood rot underneath that. And as you can see, it's uh, holding water. So new roof does not equal a good roof. <laughs>